So let's take a quick look at some of the design implications of what we've talked about. Because it's all very fun, right? That's fun stuff. I can do an entire semester just doing stuff like that. We'll have a great time. I know, good idea. But then, how will you apply that knowledge if you don't cover that part? So what are some of the design implications of all these things? Well, the primary one is, well, we do need to understand our cognitive capabilities and our cognitive propensities. And that's very important in our design. So with a lot of the things that we just went through, that teaches us things such as we need to avoid ambiguity. I'm actually going to show you some interfaces later on in the semester, we're not, probably not going to have time today, that show how careful you have to be with ambiguity. How do you, you, know, how do you choose a name for a button? Right? How do you choose names for, for tabs in a website or navigation? How do you ask your users particular questions? You need to make sure things are not ambiguous. It's one of those things that's easier said than done. You want to make sure you're consistent. Right, so if we go back and we look at our web page, right, there's a lot of consistency in the web page in terms of other web pages that we're familiar with. It helped us hone in on what we're looking for. If you make it completely different, now what are you doing to your users? You're making it more difficult. So you want to make sure, especially if there is a standard, even if it's an unspoken standard, maintain consistency when it's appropriate. And you need to know who your users are. What are their experiences? Right, so when we talked about the Jesus in the toast or the Mother Mary in the, uh, in the window, in the, I guess the reflection in the window. Take that type of knowledge, translate it into design. Know who your users are, know what the context is. Don't go building a web page for a funeral home that's red or has red in it. Understand the context. Right? A big part of understanding your users is what context are they going to be using this product in? Right? What are they going to be thinking about? And importantly, very importantly, understand their goals. What are they trying to accomplish? Those all are going to have major effects on how you design your products. So context, for example, are you designing something for a desktop in a classroom like this? Or are you designing something that's going to be used in the field out in the middle of the Everglades by a researcher? Think you should design things differently? Yes, you should. So if you're designing a system where the user's goal is to kind of stand up here and glance at the screen periodically and give a lecture like I am, or if you are this researcher in the Everglades who is intently going to be taking notes, and their goal is to get down that information, as much information as quickly as they can. So we have different goals. Is that important? Yes, yes it is. So think about these in those contexts. 